Hello. I would like you to meet the family. Ben, Tim, John, and myself. Back in June, we took a little trip to Cambodia for three weeks. While we were there, we documented every moment and everything that happened with an aim to create a documentary project for you guys to see when we get back. The goal of this project was to inspire others with the incredible memories and life-changing experiences that we had the opportunity to tell you guys. I'm very pleased to introduce Cambodia. That was embarrassing. How is that embarrassing? Where are we going? But where are we going? Say where we're going. Cambodia. Can you put that away from me, please? Why? We're gonna have to deal with this for the whole trip because I'm gonna be filming everything. But you don't want to waste the battery. <laughs> the blue. I know this is good. Where are we going? To San Francisco. This stomach. Where are we? San Fran. Next we'll be throwing ourselves. <laughs> We made it! Well, we did. Hello. Yay! Yay. We made it! <laughs> How hot is it right now? So after we left the airport, we got into a van and were driven to our hotel, Hanumanalaya, which is based in Siem Reap. And on our way, um, which I found really interesting, was that we were able to kind of see a little preview of life here in, in Cambodia, and I thought that was really interesting. Um, it was like a 15 minute drive, and um, we'll be able to see quite a bit. When we finally checked into Hanumanalaya, um, our parents had one room, and my brother and I shared a room together. Um, so, it was nice. We were right across from each other, and it all worked out. Um, the rooms were very nice, with two beds for my brother and I. Um, and it was a really pretty hotel. My brother and I actually um, kind of walked around and took some pictures. And then as a family all together, we walked around the river in Siem Reap, and kind of just saw life, how it was there. Um, and it was a really good experience. Um, but then eventually it um, kind of started to rain, and when it's rainy season, it's really rainy. It's so crazy how just like a few hours ago it was pouring rain and they still do this in like the flooded streets and all. A few hours. So at yeah, this point of the day, uh, we were all pretty tired and hungry, so we um, took a tuk-tuk out to a restaurant called Haven. And now they're driving through it. And as you can see, um, the streets are flooded, um, but this is something that they're used to, um, but not a typical American. So that was different. <laughs> So um, after a good night of sleep, um, we're waking up and we're about ready to go to Angkor Wat with the family who will be traveling with us um, for the, m most of the trip. Um, and so right now we're um, gonna get 
ready to go to Angkor Wat, which is a very big um, and popular tourist attraction here in Siem Reap, one that a lot of people go to. Um, and just really excited, so we're gonna get going. What is it? Every temple, bring your tickets. So our tour guide um, told us that um, to every temple that we go to, we had to bring our tickets um, to be able to be let in. Um, but the funny thing was that my brother and I didn't need any of these um, because we both were um, Cambodian citizens. So that was kind of cool, and I didn't really um, know that till now. Um, so we were kind of treated as if we were um, just locals, and um, it, it was really it was really cool. It was interesting. incredible to um, really be here and like really just see it here. The whole grandness of it is um, something you can't miss um, and it's definitely something um, you really have to take the time to take in because um, this is an incredible um, piece of architecture and it's the fact that it's so, it, it's just beautiful and I can't think of any other place that's like this. You should have some water. Take some of the water. You have the water working? Yeah, you should have I had some. some. Actually, quite a beautiful day. Yeah, yeah, the sun is actually kind of coming out. This is perfect lighting for most people. Mm -hmm. So we're walking into the, um, the Angkor Wat temple and it's really big. We haven't even entered the actual temple yet. We've only entered the... But we're going to be walking into this part with the big towers. Stairs. Don't fall down. No. I had a record some no. piece of stone, how much this year the stone like that, and, and next year the come and check again how much destroyed by the weather. <laughs> For those of you who are asking who the man with the orange hat um, is with us, um, this is Len. Um, he was our tour guide um, for the entire time that we were in Siem Reap, and he was very, very nice. <laughs> were these steps here before? No. Nope. So what were they like? Um, hmm. They were... Well, they were just... They might, no, they were those. That's what you walked through. The original steps. <laughs> and that, I think if the trees weren't probably as. Um, so right now we're in the like the center tower, um, and in front of us are some of um, very nicely dressed dancers, and it really reminded me of this video that I saw back at home. Um, it's a video of some dancers in front of Angkor Wat. Um, I believe it was back in 1945 or something, um, but it was very 
very beautiful and it was just really cool to see them in person. So that was really cool. Oh, very high. At least that there's stairs and not just the normal stairs. So right now, I think, is the best time to introduce the gang. Um, so we had the kids, uh, myself, my brother, and the other family's daughters, Lynn and Vani. That's it? That's all you got? Wait, wait. Oh. I'm, now I'm doing a little close-up. Oh That's my it. Golly. Funny Please. face. Show us what you got. I can't see you. Exactly. <laughs> I used to smile. Right, now, no. you guys can, now you guys come down. We lost Tim. I'm not feeling my, my best self. And now it's time to introduce the grown-ups of the group. Um, here's the other families, um, Deb and Ingrid, along with uh, my parents, Tim on the left and John on the right. <laughs> Are monkeys rare here? Are they usually seen? I rarely see them uh, any place near. Not rare. Mm. Hi. They cannot pet them. Yeah. yeah. That is rare. So right now, I think we're gonna go get some dinner at um, a restaurant called Maroon or something. So we're all gonna be getting in a tuk-tuk to get over there. And it's gonna be really fun. I love my tucks. I think they're really fun. Ben, are you tired? Very tired. Just having jet lag. <laughs> a record of the delightful piece they're going to play this evening. Ladies and gentlemen, I sent a picture home today right. to some of the family. And I wanted to say, and now we are not by ourselves, we're traveling with friends. And I'm like, oh, friends. And I wrote new friends. And then I wrote, well, friends that, through the Sharing Foundation. And then I decided, well, you might be kind of newish, but I feel like you're friends. So I just said, so you get rid of all the qualities. Yeah. yeah. I have something to tell you. Only the red one. So if you're confused about what the big deal about this little piece of food is, um, what she's holding right now is our red ant fritters. Um, they have actual ants in them, um, and we um, had the chance to take a little taste of them, and um, some reactions weren't as good as others. Red ants. As you can see here, Vani was not a fan of the ants. Didn't? It's a fritter. Ben, what are you eating? I eat ants. <laughs> One of them. Just put it in. Don't pick it. One Don't of Ben's favorite okay, ants in a tree. Yeah. Take a little bite. There's no ants. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> ben also ended up not liking them. But I myself found them to be all right, um, just a little fiery. There are a lot of things we don't understand. I don't understand. We need answers from you. Can you get our key? How did you think today's trip was? I'm no, tired. Did you like today's trip though? I'm tired. I have no feeling in the bottom of my foot. Get out of bed. You have to shower first.
Do you like this one better or do you like this one better? Why?